Interface tutorial and today we are going to discuss about the image tag. This is the process by which you can incorporate the image within the website. So last time we were discussing about the ordered list and ordered list but now we are going to discuss about how can we make this our page to be our to be actually uh, display our images now for example let's look at our image our web and uh, we can run it by typing python python manage py python manage py run server and then you can draw or you just click on that link and this is what we had last time now we want to hand the image in this page for example let's say uh we are going to add image above this uh, head or above this title so how do we do that now when you look at our our code in the vs studio code we can see this is our h1 and this is what we are targeting and we need the image above it so remember this is a uh, python and this is a uh, django uh, framework whereby we are going to be using and uh, it is not like javascript uh, or html pure so therefore we need to do some kind of uh, 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 understanding what is going to be done actually so first of all we are, we are going to do about uh, to incorporate the image we are going to do emg let's type emg mg and then we hit enter and therefore we have this and this is the image tank and we also have the image attribute this source source is actually the image attribute and we have the halt and this alt stand for let me do and do this alt stand for any case in the case the image then uh, uh, failed to show up now what should be the alternative uh, part of the image so for example in images i have two images here in the in my in in my in my in my uh, images or in my statistic static so let me delete them first of all so that i can start from scratch so let me delete that one let me delete this one and also delete this one Right now, in our folder, images is not nothing. So before we go uh, very far, let me remind you something about these uh, uh, these files. These are uh, file and folders. For example, when you open the folder or directory home app, in home app you can find the migration. You can find the statistic. Okay, the static. So static is where we said it is where the other uh, 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 folders are hosted, such as JavaScript files are hosted in static, uh, CSS are hosted in static, and images are still hosted in static. So that's why we see uh, when we open the static, we see the uh, uh, style sheet, we see the index.js, and we also see the images. Now, for us to make this image to come into the website, first of all we need to go to where the image is for our case i have the 
image in downloads or let me say image in desktop and let me check for one image which is good here let me use this one for a government of kenya and i cut right it away and then i want to come and uh, drag it to the image images hope you are following along let me go back because i can see someone is getting lost i'm back i've i've said first of all you come here and you find where your image is located for me it is in uh, on uh, found in on desktop and then i choose all these images i choose one and i choose this one and when i choose this one i drag it like that i hold the left key and drag or if you are using mouse you just uh, press down the 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 the, the, the right the, the the click button and then you drag it drag it until you come here and you see our ps code it is uh, we have the the web depth here this one and it open like that and then we come here and we paste our our image within our our image within the images this one you can see don't make any mistake of the this one make sure it is within the images because if you do uh, other directory it will refuse to, to 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 show up so you release and to, to confirm whether it has got gone to index uh to images you can come here and you click or, or, or you extend the images and you see g, g okay At this government of kenya we can also the name this image I rename it to test I'm going to rename it to test then we can use now this image in the form of test and therefore let's see how it can be used now let's go back to where we are home home.html and therefore this is the area now take Kin. this one we are going to start a very uh, unique way because we are going to use the curly brackets and then percentage percentage and uh, then we say static the way static because the static it is where our our images is hosted and then after static we we do the quotation like that and inside the quotation we say our image is within the static and within the static it is within it also within the image folder so here we talk image and within the images then we have image directory inside the image is when we talk about test dot png all right so this is static this is where our images are hosted then within the static folder we have another folder known as images folder where all images will be for, will be found and then we have the test.png our email our real image which is this one now which is hosted within the images under the folder known as static so that is how it is but still you can say if that it doesn't show up what can we say it is gok government kenya image so if it doesn't uh, uh, show up this test is going to be displayed instead so let's go draw s and come here 
and run this one more time and here yeah, there is error and this error it is saying it is invalid block tank at 10 static did, did you forget to register static yeah that i know the reason why we come back we rectify that error this error is coming because we have not loading this static so to make this uh, come along well we need to load the static above the html page so how do we load the static as normal we use curl bracket percentage percentage sign and then we do load static We control S to save our changes. We go back to where the error was and refresh the page. And there is another error, template syntax error. And this error is said, static is not registered tank. Static, this is not static. Can you see there is spelling here? There is a mistake when it comes to spelling now we go back we rectify that spelling we say a instead of s and then we control s and then we come we come back and refresh and yes the image has come republic of kenya ministry of health now this one is an image and this image it is it has come as a result of knowledge of how to incorporate our uh, the images within the within our web page now this image is not so good but we are coming to style it in more style when it comes to the css but still we cannot just say it until when we come to css we can still do something and make it uh, appear good. For example, we can come here for the image source, and here we say we give it a width because it's so big. We give it a width of of uh, let's say seventy pixels. and uh, we control s we come here and we refresh our fence and yeah it is small it is smaller we can also make it a little bigger by giving it a pixel of eight and come here and refresh that is a big size that's good size now and we can also come here and uh, because it's, it's it's when you look at this image of ours is it is a triangular we can make it a circle uh rounded and we can make it rounded by coming here and saying uh border radius uh, we go to style and the style we say border radius at border radius we give it 50% uh, we give it 50% 50% like that at border radius of 50% meaning half so we control s and when we come back here and we refresh our page let's see our image the image is rounded now now um that's actually how we can incorporate or include the image within our web page so today we have done how are the images and how we can include the image within our page.
Next is the hunger tanks, and this is where they 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 are they are enable you to navigate to either pinch or to either uh, from one place to another. So that will be the next lesson where we shall be talking about the hunger tags and how to navigate it from one page to another or uh, use of uh, hyper tag, hyper uh, touch protocol, all those we shall be doing it in next lesson. And next lesson is also marking the end of the HTML beginner. After then, we shall get into the uh, intermediate uh, HTML for the for this course. So thank you very much and keep watching. Share the video to other persons and uh, your friend. Like and comment. Goodbye.